Hi, I'm Seth, a senior product engineer here at ZeroHeight. I'm going to teach you how to set up code automation to take Figma variables into ZeroHeight and then send them back out into code. Let's dive in. First, let's start off in Figma. Here you can see I've got some variables on the left hand side. I've got some typography and interface variables. Over here, I've got the variable sync plugin from ZeroHeight. So let's create our token and get started. My token set's been created in ZeroHeight. Let's have a look. Here, you can see the variables have been brought in from Figma. So let's set up automation. We'll continue. And now I'm going to set up a repo. This is where the actual tokens will be exported. I'm going to click this one here. I want to choose a blank repo, which will be the place that I output my tokens JSON file. This is going to be in the W3C format. As you can see, you can have multiple repos. And if we wanted to, we could actually push them out at the same time whenever a change is made. I'm going to keep it as just this one here. Now we're prompted with a folder path. When using Figma variables, we actually go through each mode and each collection and output a new JSON file for each one of those permutations. That means if you have a dark mode, you might get a dark mode file and a light mode file. I'm going to choose my tokens. Let's continue. Now, ZeroHide is going to create the first pull request. Let's view it. I'm in the GitHub UI. We can see we've got a little bit of a description, like who the push was initiated by, so that's me, and we've got a link back to the token set that we created. You can see that we've got one file, because I just have one collection and one mode. And if we go through here, you can see this is all the W3C format. So normally I'd get a code review, um, but this is my own PR, so let's merge it. We're going to merge that pull request. So now, in our code base, you'll see that we have my tokens and our tokens.json here. So what does that actually give us? Let's go back to Figma and have a look at our variables again. I'm going to add a new variable and let's see how the automation works. Let's add a color token. I've added a new token. Now we can update and publish on zero height. I'm back in our end screen. Let's finish this and take a look at the token set. You'll see that my new color has been pushed to zero height. And if we go back to GitHub, we should see a new PR. In my pull request, I can see update color variables from zero height. That looks like the one we want. We'll have a look at the files changed and you can see the new token has been added. So we didn't actually have to interact with zero height at all to get those tokens working. As soon as we pushed our new variable from Figma, it went into zero height and zero height automatically created the PR. If we take a look at zero height, you can see our token set is now automated. Any changes to Figma variables can now be pushed using the zero height plugin. These changes will end up in zero height and then zero height will create a new PR for each one of those changes. That concludes setting up tokens automation using Figma variables to code. Thanks.